Hey guys, so I'm just taking a break to have lunch and um, I'm having a salad and I wasn't planning on filming this but it tasted so good I wanted to share with you all what it was that I was eating and eating a um, one of those pre-made salads from the Stop and Shop. I got a chopped salad, sunflower crunch, and the dressing is sweet onion and citrus dressing. Now this bag says that it's four servings in this bag, but honestly I ate the entire thing by myself. And I think if you're having like a salad for your main meal, the servings that they say um, what a serving is as far as this bag is concerned, that is, there's no way that that's going to fill you up. So I ate the entire thing. I don't feel bad about it. It tastes delicious. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat lunch and then I'm going to continue um, with my work day and I will see you all in a few. Hey, so I'm finished with work and now I'm getting ready to head out to handle the most important task of the day, which is hunting for Pokemon. And my daughter doesn't want to come with me today, so I'm hunting solo. I'm gonna to head to the nearby park and walk around in circles for an hour to see what I can catch. But other than that, um, I've been reading Spirit Walk and I reached on I reached 66 pages, but in order to stay on target with my reading schedule in general, I need to reach 109 pages, and I think I can do that, and I think I can read a little bit more than that, but I don't want to jinx myself, so. Yeah, that is the plan for the rest of the day, but um, okay, I'm gonna go head out and I will see you all later. Hey guys, it is about 9.15 p.m. and I'm actually gonna start winding down. I did make sure to meet my reading goal for the day and as you can see here, or maybe you can't see because you can't focus, but I made it to 110 pages in my goal for the day is, was to reach 109 pages so I'm really happy about that. Now I'm reading this book and it's actually really really good. I like it. Um, it's about a girl Miranda who is from Florida but she was displaced um, due to hurricanes and she now lives in Louisiana and she finds out that she has the ability to the spirits so it's it's cool I really like the book so far it's keeping me interested um, and what's kind of weird is because it's set in Louisiana so whenever they describe the setting I automatically picture scenes from that show True Blood um, which has nothing to do with the book because that show is about vampires and this book is about ghosts the only thing that they have in common is I think that they're both set in Louisiana I could be wrong I didn't really watch True Blood um, but I did see a, a few episodes. Um, so yeah, really enjoying the book. I am going to wind down. I ended up walking three miles today catching Pokemon and it was really fun. There's nothing more satisfying than being able to color in the boxes of my reading schedule. Green is for me being on track and completing my goal. Uh, as you can see here, I finished two books. I am on track for Stardust, on track for Walk of the Spirits, and I'm hoping that this entire page will be green, but to be determined, Thursday's gonna be a tough day. But uh, we will worry about that when we get there. So good luck everyone with day three of Book Two with On, which will be tomorrow. Other than that, have a good night and talk to you later.